Hi all, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk about the Football Manager series and why I love it. Let me be clear immediately, it's not because it's a super deep detailed simulation. You don't have to be a hardcore simulation fan to have fun with this game. I've bought every version since 2009 and played for more than 5,000 hours in total, so it was about time to talk about it. For those who don't know, Football Manager is a simulation where you are the manager of a football club not just someone who puts players on the field. You can run almost every aspect of a club while only being controlled by the board. I know many people are afraid to jump into this game or tried it and left quickly, but maybe when you hear what I love about this game and how I play it, it might change your mind. I consider myself a more casual player because I let the AI handle everything except the tactics, lineup, and transfer policy for the main squad. I do sometimes double-check certain aspects, but these three things are where I spend 90% of my time in this game. If you play like this, the game becomes a lot less complicated. But even though it's less complicated, it's not less special. No long and annoying call to action, but please consider liking and subscribing. Now, let's continue. What I love most about this game is the sense of control and impact it gives you, even as a casual player. You can genuinely take an underdog club to the Champions League and, after a few seasons, end up winning it. But it's not easy. You have to make choices, and if you make the wrong ones, you'll end up getting fired after a few months. Every choice in your lineup and tactics matters. Seeing things go wrong on the pitch and then making changes that have a positive impact is one of the most satisfying feelings there is. For example, trying to play on the counter while having slow forwards is a really bad idea. You need to evaluate your squad and make them as effective as possible based on their strengths. The same goes for the transfer window. I admit I use a tool to see the true potential of players, but you still need to decide what to buy. Do you invest in a youngster who could offer huge gains both on the field and in potential resale value, but takes three seasons to develop? Or do you choose an older player who can deliver immediate results but comes with a high salary and little resale value? Balancing these choices perfectly is key to getting the most out of your squad quickly. Even if you decided who you want to buy, it might not work out the way you hope. You can't just buy any player you want. Some won't come to your club, others you can't afford, and some aren't worth the investment. It's another element that needs careful balance. Even if you're like me and only focus on tactics, squad lineup, and transfer policy, while checking players' real potentials, there are still so many options that impact the outcome. You make impact on a micro level by substituting the right player at the right time, but also at a macro level by buying the right players. That combination of decisions that all have an impact is what's making this series so satisfying to play and one of my favorite series of all time, and I can't wait for the new one to come out in March next year. Are you playing Football Manager? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.